All right, these are selected homework from uh, section 4.3, 4.4a. Um, this is from section 4.3, from figure 47. Uh, asking for you to find the definite integral for this function uh, uh, with uh, be between these given uh, x intervals, upper and uh, between these uh, given lower and upper bounds. Now, normally, if you want to find the definite integral, we would have to know what the function value is so that we can apply integral rules. However, if we look at this graph, these all, if we look at what's between um, the graph and the x-axis, we see these all fit into nice geometric shapes that we can find areas for. So um, that's what we're going to be using uh, to find the definite integral uh, for this region. So between 0 and 2, let's look at between 0 and 2. Between 0 and 2, we see that this region is a quarter circle, right? And uh, if we want to find the area of a quarter circle, let's first think about the area of a circle. So um, we see that uh, we have a circle that's centered around 0, 0, and we have portion. We can think of it as um, this, this region here. This is our circle that we're dealing with. So if we can find the area of a circle, then we can use that to find the area of this quarter circle. Okay, so the area of a circle uh, is pi r squared. The radius for this circle is 2. So if I find the area of the circle, I have pi 2 squared, which gives me uh, 4 pi. Now, 4 pi is the area of the entire circle, so therefore the area of the quarter circle will be 1 fourth of that. So 4 pi divided by 4 is simply pi. Okay. However, the area is pi, but we know the definite integral of this region, since this is below the x-axis, will be negative pi. So therefore, the definite integral of f of x uh, from 0 to 2 is equal to negative pi. Okay, part b, the definite integral from negative 4 to 6 of f of x. So negative 4, we start here, and we want to go all the way to 6. Okay, so if we can find the area of these three regions, then we can use that to find the definite integral. Okay. This here is a uh, triangle. So the area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. Um, base is 2. My height is 1. So 1 half 2 times 1 is negative 1. So uh, the area of this region, uh, sorry, um, 1 half times 2 times 1 is 1, but we know that this is below the x-axis, so we know the definite integral for this region is negative 1. This quarter circle is negative pi, we found from part A, and this is also a quarter circle, so this is also negative pi, also below the x-axis. This region is a, a triangle that we can find the area for, so 1 half base, the base here is 4, and the height is 2, so 1 half base times height, 1 half, one half 4 times 2 is simply 4. Uh, this will be a positive definite integral in this region since it's above the x-axis. So then we just add these values up if we want to find the definite integral from negative 4 to 6. So negative 1, the first left triangle here, minus 2 pi, that's the half circle, plus 4 will simply give us 3 minus 2 pi. So that's our definite integral from negative 4 to 6. Okay, part E. Uh, the definite integral from negative 4 to 6 for the absolute value of f of x. So absolute value of f of x means um, that for any region that we found to be negative, we're going to convert it to be a positive value. So um, we simply take the values that we found from part D and just make them all positive. So um, we have positive 1, positive 2 pi, positive 4, and all that will provide us with um, our definite integral of 5 plus 2 pi. Okay, part F, find the definite integral of from negative 4 to 6 of f of x plus 2. We've got to be careful here because this plus 2 is being a, is inside the definite integral notation. So first thing is I'm going to treat this like two separate problems. Uh, the definite integral from negative 4 to 6 of f of x and also the definite integral uh, of 2 dx from negative 4 to 6. So this we can pull from the graph because we have that information. So this is 3 minus 2 pi. That's what we found from part D. But this, we have to use um, definite, um, use power rule. 
so that we can find a value there. So it's definitely an integral of 2. Um, 2 becomes 2x, and we evaluate between upper and lower bound, plug upper bound in, we get 12, lower bound, we get negative um, 8. So 12 minus a negative 8 will be 20. So then we can add these two definite integrals together. So 3 minus 2 pi plus 20 will give us 23 minus 2 pi. Okay, let's look at 49. Okay, what's given to us is that the definite integral of f of x from 0 to 5 is equal to 4. So I'm just going to sketch something that represents 4. Okay, so here's my function, here's my curve. Between 0 and 5, let's say the area of that region is 4. Okay, so for part a, find the definite integral of f of x plus 2 from 0 to 5. Again, this plus 2, we've got to be careful. It's being affected by the definite integral. So I'm going to split this up into two parts. The definite integral of of f of x from 0 to, four, 0 to 5, we know is 4. But for 2, the definite integral is 2x, so uh, we have to go through calculus here. Plug the upper and lower bound in. f of b first, so 5 in for x, we get 10. 0 in for x, we get 0. 10 minus 0 is 10. So then 4 plus 10 will give us 14. Okay, for part b, find the definite integral from negative 2 to 3 of f of x plus 2. Um, so let's think about what f of x plus 2 does to the original graph. So let's say this is my f of x graph. f of x plus 2 simply means I'm going to take every ordered pair and shift it left two units. So let's say this is what my graph looks like now. Right? Um, however, the graph shifts over two units, but then so do the lower and upper bounds. So if I shift, basically I'm shifting the graph over two units, and I'm also shifting the left um, and the right endpoint over two units. So I'm essentially going to get the same area as I did from um, what's given to us in the beginning. So we know that this region will also give us definite integral of 4. Okay, for part C, uh, we want to find a definite integral from negative 5 to 5 if our function is even. Okay, so let's say this is what my function looks like from 0 to 5. I want an even function, so what that means is the graph will be perfectly symmetrical um, between, um, across the y-axis. So if this is what my graph um, looks like, then on the left side it must also uh, have the same shape and the same symmetry. So if we know that the integral from 0 to 5 is 4, then the integral from negative 5 to 0 must be 4 as well. We add these up and we get 8. Okay, for part D, definite integral from f, uh, negative 5 to 5 of f of x dx if our function is odd. If we have an odd function, then we know the graph will be symmetric about the origin. So um, any portion that is above the x-axis um, will be the opposite on the other side. Okay, so if we know that this region is 4 from what's given to us, then this region must be negative 4 Okay, but also having the same symmetry, so we're having the same area. So therefore, when we add these together, they will cancel out to give us zero. Okay.